Alrighty, welcome back. I'm Strategy Professor. We're going to do another episode in our Grom campaign here, so let's go ahead and go. Um, now, I actually do not have enough movement speed to take Kara's Akarak after the sack. I think I had to take that sack no matter what. So we're going to have to siege it again next turn. And I think we're going to try to um, just get the wall going and then take it because there's still a very high ranked um, army. And what I'm going to do to get the wall, we need six more uh, stuff. So I want the ale, because the trolls being unbreakable is huge. And then I want the regeneration, the replenishment, because we don't have that much replenishment right now. And then I want this for the five reputation, which is not always a big deal, but right now it's a big deal. So it's a new ingredient we haven't done, or it's a new meal. We haven't done that yet. Um, so we get to cook it, and then, um, we get to see what fishy breath is, I guess. Perfect Vigor is pretty good on Grom. But yeah, we just, we pretty much just want the replenishment, the reputation, and, um, the dulled senses. Loving a spinal column or two. Oh, plus one for big bosses. Okay, nice. Um... We'd have to hire another big boss from over here and run them all the way over if we want to do that. Because this place, this place is going to go down very soon. I can't, you can't sell buildings. I can't actually recruit a hero here either. Okay, so we're just pretty much dead on that. Okay, so we did hit the wall. Ow. That's not much more replenishment. Replenishment rate, 20%. And then this gives us another 10. It should be 30% replenishment. Jeez. Like, really? I mean, we are in foreign territory, but... Okay. Um... Okay, so we can go ahead and start the wall. We start powering it up. Get construction cost reduction and um, weapon strength. Which is okay. I mean, we're going to be like having to build a bunch of new stuff, and it says they are strength rank three. Okay, so we can go ahead and target them. So we're getting double wad here, and we should keep all the bonuses. I think our units... I don't know if we still get the leadership or not. I mean, the leadership on the trolls doesn't matter. Like, that ale is just... I can't say enough about how strong that ale is with our army comp we have here. These guys are... Once these get to level 7, too, they're going to get some nice bonuses. Okay. Uh, so we obviously have a ton of money right now. We just don't have much infrastructure yet. Once we start taking over this stuff, hopefully we can stabilize, but... I mean, do we try to keep Achendorf? The thing is, like, all of these people are going to be at war with us, so... We just don't have the armies right now to do it. I think we just try to stabilize this eastern, like, region in here. get the uh, Hit up the other greenskins, try to force confederations, and then we work our way back. It's yellow. So we're kind of taking a more defensive stance. We could have gone for Ulthwan, but... They got some really powerful stuff. Like, that army right there is... We could probably beat it with a full full power Grom army, but... You know, if we just went into the Hornet's Nest here, and they had, like, you know, six armies like this coming at us from, you know, three different factions, it, that would be tricky. Given how limited we were on resources early on in the game. Okay. Um... See if Skarsnik wants to do a traditional confederation with us. Yes, he gets. We really need Grim Gore or Bloody Hands. I don't know where Teeth Snatches. Let's have that.
special thanks to Colt for uh, donating as well. He donated for a... Um, he donated for a Clark or on Dark Elf campaign. So he wanted to try them out. He likes the mask. He just got the game. Um, and I might try streaming in a bit more. The last one was pretty successful. I think we got up to 80 concurrent, and a lot of people probably didn't even know about it. So we might try streaming on the weekends, especially if people are donating for campaigns, and I'm just doing that on the weekends. Like... You know, maybe like a four-hour stream from like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. or something like that. Might be doable. Just um, just thinking about a time when that would actually work out. As long as it doesn't hurt the league stream numbers, which it seems like it hasn't so far. I just, YouTube's algorithm is just so mysterious. But I think that would be cool. And I might try other ways to like other kinds of content that people could sponsor that would be fun too. Like... I know that um, Legend of Total War does a um, Save My Campaign or something like that, or Mission Impossible. I don't remember what it's called, but people would send him a save file of just like a crazy mess they got into. And then like he would try to get his way out of it. I haven't watched one of those yet, but that would be a cool idea. Um or someone could donate something, I don't know, 20 bucks, something like that, and I could try, you know, to take 20 turns or something to get them out of whatever the mess is. Like, tell them, like, explain how you would get out of that, how to optimize it, and it would lead to some, you know, really interesting campaigns, some hard fights, some suboptimal conditions where people have weird units or buildings or just get themselves into a mess, and I would try to get out of it. That, that would be really fun. I'm not sure how to do the save files or anything like that, but that would be fun. Or like multiplayer, if people want to see me revisit multiplayer. And just like five or ten bucks to play whatever, like five bucks to play whatever faction they want to see in multiplayer. I don't know. I'm just thinking of stuff um, that could be good in a stream environment maybe, but. Okay, so we got, um, who is this? Oh, the Lord guy. Okay, so we don't want him. Where's that lord? Itchup. Oh, that was the replacement lord. Okay, where? Um... Oh, nice. He actually spawned there instead of the other side of the universe. That's actually really good for us. Uh, do I steal tech? I think I want to do that against a potential... I mean, I'm just going to kill Greenskin's lord anyway, so maybe it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we're not... Probably not gonna um, confederate with them in a traditional sense. Did that hurt even though that failed? Hurt our diplomacy with them? Yeah. Whatever. So. Death from above, biggest, strongest. Savage Smarts. Stabbers. Okay. I think... 5% Replenishment and Growth can... Growth might actually be pretty relevant. Right, let's go ahead and get that, because we're going to have to rebuild everything over here. Fortunately, Greenskins do have a lot of growth, and their buildings aren't, like, that expensive. I think this... Does this food lower construction costs? There was something I was looking at that lowered construction costs. Let's gain a random amount of gold. What is this fishy breath? Oh, three casts of a wind spell. Okay. Um, try it out. Was I not already in rating? Was I not in rating stance? No. Anyways, we got to hit this up again. They probably get like full replenishment on everything, but they don't have another army there right now. Scavenge, Nasty Skulker, Stalker. Camping Line of Sight actually could be pretty good. Weird as that seems. I 
like so much of the challenge of this campaign is that he starts off completely surrounded by everything is yellow that's like there's a couple of campaigns that are like that but not many i mean scars nick's kind of like that um i don't remember the other ones but i replenish anything like it just feels like i got no replenishment i mean i guess it is a hostile area but all right let's do it Okay, they didn't get full. They got a lot of replenishment, but not not to full. Okay, we can probably deal with this. Are their walls still dinged up? Five breaches. Okay. Roll always wins. Remember it. Oh, we got a decent little crew of stuff. Also. Another day, another job. So, like I said, if I had a crystal ball, I would have done the reputation thing and just... Well, I had to take that sack. There's no way I don't take a 68,000 gold sack. Um, you pretty much almost always have to sack as greenskins. They get so much per, for sacking. It's just like you're trolling if you don't sack. Some of my trolls are a little dinged up here, so we got to be careful with that. The single empty units, like um, a hag, will regenerate, so that's not like a huge deal, but goblins we can replace. Um, would really like to not lose the spider. The spider's been pretty disappointing, and she always is. It's just like, it's like you need her when you need her, but then otherwise, she's just not that good. Doesn't do enough damage, especially for her cost, but she does help out with lords. A little bit. I mean, her melee attack is not that great. Her melee defense is definitely not great. So, green skin units, as per usual, are a little on the weak side normally, but that's compensated by the fact that, you know, you can get a wasp, you can basically have two armies in every army. It's just, you know, a numbers game. I'm gonna go ahead and just kill these. I'm gonna play this a little more traditionally. Because we might, they might send over some, um, they're probably sending dwarf stuff at us right now from the south. So they'll be here in a couple of turns, most likely. We already, we already knocked that out. So let's put these on our, uh, six. Why can't they hit people? Dude, the arc is a little ridiculous for a catapult, like... Gotta be able to use this ammo. I don't know why it's so quiet. You can hear the sound effects, but not the music. Maybe I turn the music down or something. Unbreakable? Break. Oh, they're, like, lined up in this weird... Okay, that's interesting, that formation. Um, that's gonna make them, like, a lot more resilient to... I've never seen them do that before. Like, those long, skinny lines like that actually makes them a lot more resilient. The catapult fire. If they come out of this, some people might be thinking, Oh, well, the AI, why don't they just sally out? The problem is, if they sallied out, I could block them up in these chokes and then just fire on them with the artillery. Like, there's really not a, a good way for them to deal with this. They could try to pack it into their, like, over here or something, but... Block 
locking each other in here. It just takes forever to kill green skins, but our trolls are we're kind of dinged up. Get as much value as we can here. Iron breakers are just going to take like 50 years to kill here. Speed it up to 6x. Like they can't fire on those dudes. They're too close. This is why I love like the mortar team. They are firing me with something. What is uh, like a grudge thrower or something? Okay, just anything that's out of ammo, we'll just do it that way. Still firing on me? They are just, this artillery. Okay, Skaven's still the king of artillery. <laughs> I thought like maybe the Doom Divers were gonna step it up a lot, but I mean the dwarves are like very missile resistant. They have a lot of armor, you know, missile resist, shields, you know, they got all that stuff. Oh, those are Slayers. Yeah, we, we gotta kill the Slayers. That's, that's the big problem. That is a huge problem. Maybe it was like the orc era boys. Maybe like the range upgrades would be all right. Hold up a little bit there, bro. There we go. Now we go in. I guess there was no point in doing that. Um, I should have activated the healing thing. I don't think it would matter that much, but. Yeah, they, they had some grudge bringers or grudge throwers or whatever that were doing some damage to our wall, but. So having the orc air boys pretty good. I mean, like, orcs and savage orcs, there's a bit more diversity there. I like the savage orcs a lot. Like, the savage orc campaign is pretty cool. They're just like all in on like hard melee, hard damage. 
So if we get some of those um, southern barren areas where we can hire savage orcs, especially with Wurzog, that'd be great. But. So here's the thing. We want a high-level town so we can recruit our stuff again, but... Okay, yeah, I guess we just occupy. Four thousand's not worth. We're probably going to get it at level two. We might be able to get it at level three. Now, I wonder if we're still wad, or like if it canceled the other wall. 12% weapon strength and 20% buildings faction wide. Nice. Okay, we did get it at tier 3. It has some pretty good buildings. Boar stuff doesn't matter. This stuff doesn't matter yet. God, the Night Goblins are just such a disappointment. I can't express that enough. I was really looking forward to the Night Goblins being cool. Um, probably. We could try out the Giants again. The Giants are often a bit of a disappointment as well they are cheaper than the spider and they do pretty well against like aoe stuff but it's like the trolls are just better giants right like they're cheaper there's 16 of them in a stack i mean having like one giant there i guess is nice on a siege just to have i, I think they have a bigger sweeping attack so maybe having like one of those is okay um Plus one for all units. Hero capacity plus one for River Troll Hag. That one also gives that though. It's not that expensive. I think our giants two or three turns to hire. I wish it would like you could just flip through and see, but. I think there, something tells me there are probably three turns to hire. Okay, so the money building's good. The obedience building's good. This building is good. Good money. Boar building, probably don't want it. Orc boar boy, big and... Okay, just cavalry is... Really? They're big, they're biggins, and it's 22 melee attack? 20 melee defense? What? They have 85 armor, but, like, that's so bad. I mean, I understand they're supposed to be a little bit weaker um, than other armies just because you get, you know, you get a lot of them with your wall. But... Oh, these do replenish. I wasn't sure if these replenished or not. But that's, I mean, that's, that's a little ridiculous. Um, let's just get purple sun. Probably not going to use that a lot, but maybe in C just The giants are good with purple sun. Like, giants and trolls are a great combo. And you also get the dulled senses, um, because that applies to giants. And you also get the same buffs for trolls and giants. So maybe just having, like, two trolls in, or two giants with the trolls might be pretty good. Obviously, that's going to be weaker, like, missile infantry. But if we have this much artillery, we'll just shatter any archers that they have, probably. So... I will go for that. Also, 50% cost reduction. Is that just for this food? Is that just giants or is that also trolls? Or just trolls? But in growth, all provinces is nice too. I pretty much only did this for the reputation and just to get another food cooked up. Um, okay, so we'll sell this, buy in the giants, probably throw down like a growth building or something. It's kind of annoying that you get, like, the most iconic, you know, dwarf town, and there's not, like, a special landmark building there. You know what I mean? It's like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Gotta be something for killing the homeland of the dwarves. Okay. I mean, do we want to try to protect this? We've got a lot of money. You know what? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if we get another army, this is going to kind of be the door to where these guys want to come mess with us. They're going to do it. Okay, I think Skaven start there now. 
Fair Jamar. I really wish this wasn't yellow. I mean, it does make the campaign harder, but it's annoying as hell. That's... Okay. Um. Whatever. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see if we can repair. I wish you could at least get a more serious garrison. We'll get some movement speed. The dwarves might come at me, like, right now after that. But we have so much money, I think we can just try to see what we can get going on there. Okay, I think everything else is all good. Um, I still don't want to hire another, like, for real ward yet. We don't need to hire anything here, do we? No. Uh, well, we do have a slot. What do we lose? Just a goblin, probably. Um, unbelievable this cost. This should at least just cost one turn. If it's going to be trash, like, it should be, like, you can hire it really quickly and cheaply. The fact that it's 178, I mean, I guess that's not, like, too much, but it really should be, like, 150 gold or less. I mean, and one turn to hire them. Maybe I'm not giving them enough credit. They do have armor-piercing damage. They do have some shock value, but... Compared to other factions, I feel like it's a bit of a diffy, <laughs> as they would say in League. We don't get the leadership penalty for a while. As long as we can hold Kara as a Karak. Oh. Okay, and we need to find... Um, where? I guess he's down here or something. It says he has a lot of property. I don't know where he is. I have so many movement modifiers. How can I not get there? Just randomly. Uh, okay. Well. What? That has walls? Wait, no. <laughs> it doesn't have any walls. Okay. Mork says what? It just lets you target it even if you can't do anything to it. Alright, alright. Um, oh, we were going to save this slot for our shaman to come over here and like, join us. Okay, fine. I mean, I, I do want to level up the shaman. We can go to like right here. play footsie with these idiots just repaired that i mean it, i have so much money it, it's not gonna matter i'm just gonna let it go because i, I want to complete this province just because it's safer i knew it as soon as i as soon as i repaired it they'd roll up okay all right some stuff on him we got him i don't know if these stack like the sacking stuff stacks i think it does uh sacking some things don't stack or there's like a cap on it and then some things do 
We're not going to throw him in combat that much. There are a lot more options with SFO, though. Um, like, just random stuff you can get. I don't know. Maybe I do like SFO more. Like, there are other steps I could do to increase the difficulty. Like, I could do the um, army caps as well as faction caps. I mean, the base game's still great. I had no option here. I had to do vanilla for this campaign. The content just came out, but... There's no way I'm winning that. Really? If I canceled the buildings he decided not worth. Maybe he's getting attacked by something else. Possible. Yeah, I mean, that was unfortunate that they burned all that stuff, but we do have a tier 3 town over here, so it's not like the end of the world. I don't know where these dudes are going. Where are the... Need scouts. Oh, I can hire another um, Goblin Big Boss, yeah. Goblin and Night Goblin units, perceptive. I think I like the campaign line of sight. our garrison looking here not insane no one can stop Rom. I could throw down more of that stuff. We're getting the troll stuff. Oh, we're just gonna throw down the growth, I think. I don't think it has walls. Gonna conquer the world. No. Stop this shit. That shit dead. Still getting a bunch of goblins, like I mean we got trolls and doom divers in here. Come on, give me Rob give me some heat. Wins. I mean we are occupying the third most dangerous faction on the map, apparently. Snatch up the best stuff. It's gonna occupy it's not that much. I'm just gonna occupy it. World's gonna be we might get it at tier two. For a size one attacker. Okay. Superior attacker. Looter, swindler. Helm of Discord's actually pretty good. Um. What's the range on that? I guess we just throw it on the shaman. Okay, headbutt, power to wall.
down on that. Pitcher. We're rolling over. Rattled. Okay. That dude. Oh, nice. Minus 10 melee attack and defense. Okay, that's pretty legit. 144 charge bonus. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I mean, it's not a money building, but realistically, most of our money is going to be from sacking and pillaging and all that stuff. Okay. So Mount Squighorn does not have walls. Okay. Um, do I want to try to grab this stuff next? Okay, this has a new landmark. Do we go for this? I know Mount Gunbad. I, does for greenskins, does it give you big money? Or is it only for the uh, dwarfs? Or do we come down here and try to go for Black Crag? Where is Grimgore? It says Grimgore is the strongest on the map right now. Where's his capital? Okay, so it says he's in here. So he's down to this. So he's taken over this stuff. So we need to go down there and find him. So we probably just go south here. Then we'll mess with that later. Now they added some new properties in here too, I think. Looks like the map goes to like here. Or like here. I think they added some extra properties. I don't know what kind of... I think it's Badlands. It could be Desert. It's Badlands. Okay. I think that's all good. You need me. <laughs> That'd be good. It's a sure. We're gonna have to watch because we do know the dwarfs are kind of backdooring over here, so we might have to just take on the dwarfs. They come for us. So maybe we go for Squighorn. Then go down for Black Crag. Frodo for Border Princes. Movement through here is absurd. Why is it so low through these mountains, man? Maybe we just go, <laughs> just go for all stone trolls, man. Maybe that's the key. Just forget the goblin. Just go for the trolls. I mean, the goblins are really cheap. That's their thing. And the trolls cost way more. Um, Forty-six, thirty-nine, though. These do, like, way less damage, obviously. I don't know. They are very cost-efficient for what they are, though. Probably just don't need that many. Like, not everyone, you don't want, as the saying goes, too many cooks in the kitchen. Not everybody has to be an all star. Like, what is he doing? He's just like looking the back door. He doesn't have any way to. Um, you'd have to siege for a turn first. Really? That's grassland? That looks wooded to me. So if I go for Squighorn, I can take Squighorn this turn. If I do that, he could go for Kara as a Karak. 
Maybe I can block movement on him. Okay, so he can't hit that next turn. I think the garrisons are like absurdly weak in the base game, though, compared to how they are in SFO. Um, I could sack. Problem, though, is I'm not going to be able to sack and occupy on the same turn. I don't think I have enough movement, so I'm just going to take it. So, like, a level 3 town should have, like, at least 14 units in it, I think. Just naturally. Like, I think you should have to um, build for walls. I don't think you should get free walls like the Bretonians get. Um, but... Uh, at the same time, I having like five units or six units or something on in a tier three town feels really weak, especially capitals. Like Kara's a carrot. I mean, they did have some stuff. Like it, it was an okay garrison. But it should be like prime time. Like this is gonna be hard as hell for like a tier four, or a tier five Kara's a carrot. Um. Like having weak stuff like that just really encourages like a backdoor kind of play style, which I personally don't like as much. Just having some more trade offs here would be nice because, like, right now, extortion's basically never worth it. Um, it's like always growth, unless you need to hire something in that town, then it's the other one. Like, it's just very clear cut option. I like it when it's just a little bit more of a trade-off. Who is that? Okay. So he has Crookback Mountain and some of this stuff. How do I even get down there? Okay, I gotta come through here. Barone was encountered. Where? I guess over here? Belgar's taking him down. Garznik, save yourself. Confederates, I can get you. <laughs> I'll give you an army, buddy, I promise. Okay. I don't have the movement speed food right now. I mean, we don't really need this food. We could go for a different food, like the movement speed one would be nice. But we don't really need replenishment right now either. But the extra growth is, is cool. So I do miss some stuff about SFO. Maybe I could just do the army, army capacity. Do double up on the cap system and okay, so he's raiding that. He might be able to hit Kara's a Karak next turn. Mom can hardly see you. Oh, they're gone. There goes Scarsnake. <laughs> We tried to find him. We we saw like three or four different lords. I think he was just wounded. Okay, so he can definitely hit that next turn if he wants to. We'll just chill on that looking for tier four. And we could put the um, garrison building in there. 
I think at least when you build other buildings, it should give you like one or two units. That's something that happens with SFO. Like if you have a tier four, like this thing, it should give you like one or two units in your garrison. If you make a military building that builds units, it should throw one or two of those types of units. Like the Grail unit for Bretonia, right? Threw in that Grail Knight. I mean, that's a little... That might be a little much, but... My movement just feels so weak right now. Neat. I'm like, I'm not even sure if I jump here, if I'm going to be able to jump that wall to come at him. Let me just... Scout this. It's like a tier three with literally like seven units, including miners. Like, it's ridiculously low. All right. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go like right here. Then if he tries to go for Kara as a Karak, I should be able to jump over there. I might need to change my food around. Get the movement speed. Let's see what we have here. What, what's that quest I'm supposed to be getting? Isn't it, um, look for the hag? Something with beast bits. Dish. It needs three things in it. So it's got to be something with beast bits that I haven't discovered yet that would have three ingredients. So beast bits typically makes um, Magnum Pizza or Surf and Turf. Shroom Ophel. Misty broth. This is the best beast bit. Uh, I really want the ale. Okay, so that's surf and turf. That's not a new one. That's income and obedience. I mean, leadership. Bugman's Battered Ribs. We already have that. That's a very good one. We've already done that one, so that one's not it. Ooh. Misty Mountain Broth. We've already got one of those. Surf and turf, battered ribs, misty mountain broth. Does it matter, like, the order of these? Like, can we put this here? Boar meat. Um. Seafood quiche. I haven't seen that. Is that a three one? It's only got two buffs here, so I think when it's a three, <laughs> nuggets and slime. I've made that. That's a three. It's got three. I get the hang of how this stuff works. Campaign movement stuff's pretty good, but I, I guess I guess not. It's I said it was going to be a three ingredient thing with beast bits. The. What's the. I mean, what are these. We can kind of see them here. 
That's the Magnum. That's okay. So it's not the quiche. The quiche is a two one. Oh, okay. So the the main ingredient, the special ingredient, has to be a different one for each one of these, probably. So it's got to be a beast bit as the main ingredient. Sorry, I don't I don't know all of the cooking stuff, but okay. So this has to be the main ingredient. So then Bugman's and fish. That's the quiche. That's not. That's not it. Bugman's and this. Easy shrooms. That's not on the. So there's something with crab here. There's some kind of like pot. There's some kind of like purple mushroom thing. Where are the nuggets? Oh, there's the okay. We've already done the nuggets. There's the quiche. Um. I don't think it matters which which ingredient you pick from each one. I don't think it's just the combination of which three. Okay, so that one is the quiche. Um. Easy shrooms, is that? No, that's that one. That's a two. Ooh. Nuggets, okay. Yeesh. <laughs> Eesh. Easy shrooms. Nuggets. Yeah, it's, I, I don't think it's going to matter. I mean... I, just, I don't think we have it. We kind of guessed our way into the Bugman's thing, I think. <laughs> um, but something would be... But wait, it would have to be one of these special ingredients. Because Bugman's is what? You start with this. Maybe this ingredient matters. Like, it has to be a specific one of these from the, from the row that matters. It's the same thing. Shrooms. Fine. I don't know. Okay. Sorry. Just trying to guess and see if we can get something with the movement speed that would be good. Alright. Oh, um... Can't do okay, we have really low chance of doing anything because we had a successful one last turn. Get a little more vision. Okay. The Bugman's one is really good. You better bow. You Oh no. Uh oh. Well, we lost our property over there already, so it doesn't really matter as much. Backdoor Central. Garrison? 
Oh, was that over here? Yeah, it was over there. Okay, so public war is becoming a over here. All right, well. I guess just in case I have to fight him, I could get the spider. It does increase my movement speed. I don't know if that increases your movement speed on the campaign map too or not. The campaign map is based on your your base speed, like the percentage increase. I don't know. Okay. Pop over there. Is that a failure? Oh, it was successful. Okay. Thought I saw something that was a fail. Okay. So he may not be able to run. The thing is, he's probably going to be able to dash and get away. Why are there only. Oh, there's 17 units in my wall. I mean, what? It's all just like junk. I mean, it's cool and everything, but it's like they were marketing this as like, oh, when you get a stronger army, you're going to get crazy lava spiders and all this stuff. It's like, I mean, I've got a bunch of tier three and tier four units in this army. I've got a level 24 legendary lord. I mean, not the best army out there, but like, should be getting more than goblins. currently occupying what was perceived to be the second or third most powerful um, capital in the game. Boys, bring Gromis You're gonna dash away. I don't know if I can run him down. There's so much backdooring in vanilla, man. I forgot about this, like. The garrisons just aren't strong enough and to, to get a second army, it's gonna cost you like a million gold. Because supply lines are 15%. So I'm going to have to hire like a 5,000 gold army to chase around, you know, like a 2,000 gold army to stop them from sacking my place. It's just like not enough like movement speed buffs also. I, actually, this might... I'm literally one space away from this clown. He's just going to run away like a freaking coward. If I had the movement speed buff thing here, which maybe I should have gotten the 15% extra movement speed. How long is that block for? I think it's just one turn, right? Looks like the underway movement is much worse also. I mean, we've got to chase him because he's just gonna. Hack him to pieces. The thing is, even if I block army, he can just dash. I can't attack and dash stance.
and it feels like my movement is just um, just too constrained. It just takes a long time to progress the campaign if there's no garrisons. Like the garrisons make the campaign harder early on. To try to siege certain things. Like you get some really really tough fights depending on the faction, which I think is interesting on the front side. And on the back side, when you actually get those properties, you can hold it. And so a lot of the fights are like concentrated where you're just actually fighting another army, not spending 10 or 15 turns running around, you know, with the Benny Hill music playing. Trying to run down people that are just constantly go looking to backdoor your town. I mean, that's pretty much all it was at the very beginning of the campaign, right? Like, I was fighting over, like, three towns trying to level up essentially there were some good fights it was interesting but like that high elf army just ran back and forth like three or four times in dash stance i can't engage them i can't force them to fight me something just got burned over there i can't force them to fight me um but i have to defend it if i want any towns and when you have so many hostiles and like no way to defend your town I mean, I even had the, the Tier 4 upgraded garrison on my capital there. It couldn't stand up to those High Elves. It feels like the vision is very nerfed, too. Like, I couldn't even see... Um... Okay, I better be able to hit that. I'm pretty sure I can get him this time. Whereas in like SFO, like I said, the garrisons are bigger. There's more stuff that gives you extra campaign movement range followers and things like that. So it doesn't take as much time and there are just better mechanics to help you run down stuff like that. So you can force them to fight. He shouldn't be able to run because he's in dash stance. We'll have a day to yeah, he's Papa. he's getting massacred. So this is like all goblins and orcs, man. Like it's not it's not Another the cool new lava units or sword. you know I don't know. I mean, like the campaign's cool. I don't want to like downplay it too much, but there is a little disappointment, as you can tell, with some of it. Like coming back to vanilla, I was like, okay, it's gonna be harder. People been telling me, like, okay, you gotta go back to vanilla, man. Don't do SFO. SFO's too easy. And it's like, but is it? Like, the only stuff that's, like, hard about this versus SFO is just dealing with constant, like, backdoor aggro. Like, the fights themselves don't seem that much harder. Like, the AI does, I think they might get some bonuses and stuff, but it doesn't feel that much harder. If at all. It's just you have a much harder time managing your macro here, like running down all the backdoor people. You also, like I said, you can't hire multiple armies as easily. So it just feels like it's very heavily slanted towards defensive type of factions that can just make like super death stacks, like high elves, that type of stuff. And it's just a lot worse for these horde type of factions like greenskins um, that really want multiple armies. The new wall thing is definitely a, a, a hit. Like, that's really good. But where are we going? Are we just dashing over? Are we going to try to protect Ockendorf? Giving us some money, not a lot. Those guys are annoying. If I let that go, then they might just come over here and start going after um, Kara's a Karak. So I guess we're kind of committed to coming over here and trying to clean this up. We could start thinking about a second army here, too. Um, we're probably going to have to go. I imagine the dwarves any moment are going to come down here and try to backdoor Squighorn. I really wanted... I mean, I guess I could go ahead and start leveling up another lord. If 
fifteen percent. It's gonna get so much more expensive. Do have a lot of goblin buffs. Next death juice attacks. I thought dripping tips gave your entire army um was supposed to give your entire army poison. I guess they changed that. Okay. You need help. Yeah, I mean, the goblins are still just going to be the best bang for your buck. With all the goblin upgrades that I have. Now, I could get some trolls with him, too, but... See if we can make it work with the gobos. Expensive. I just need to scout with this stuff. I need to find Warzog and Grimgor. Ooh, okay. Dude, the vision is such a freaking joke in this game. They had like a 20 stack just sitting here and this guy doesn't see it. Okay. Well, it took more damage on that than I would have liked, but... Right. I probably do need to get the other goblin upgrades, like the little cheap ones that are like one turn techs, just for the other lords, and then just use the goblin war bosses. Oh wow. This guy, like, came in from out of sight as well, and he wants to reinforce. My units are going to be tired because I dashed because I can't see anything on the damn map. We're already at 108. Okay, we're, this is going to have to be the next episode. So this army, is this army tired too? Probably. So the vigor is going to hurt, but we can probably still deal with them. Anyways, we'll get out of the next episode, so thank you very much. It's still an interesting campaign. It's still good. It's just, just pointing out some differences from uh, SFO and non-SFO that I've noticed. But anyways, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.